Yo, what up? It's Nick here with Living Rich here, or Nick here, to encourage you to live a rich life. And today, the subject is sterilization. And there are cars passing by. So it's not perfect. The situation we're in is not perfect, but it's ideal, although not perfect. The sun's good. I have a little bit of time before I go to work. And I, I, I do have a message that I actually feel really strongly about. And the subject is sterilization and how people disable themselves, kill themselves by over-sterilizing their lives. And I feel like this happens in lots of lots of areas, lots, lots of different depths, um, in lots of ways. Here comes a round of cars you guys are going to go. Ready? So, when I talk about sterilization, I mean when people try to make their lives absolutely the way they want it, and when it doesn't go exactly the way they want it to, when something's not just perfect, when something happens or goes quote unquote wrong, um, they can't deal with it because they're not subject on a regular basis to uncertainty, to uh, people not liking them, to getting rejected, to germs. This is why people get sick because they can't fucking handle germs. They over sterilize their food. They their hands, they over sterilize their body. Um, definitely stay clean, but you know, give it a fucking break every once in a while. Give yourself leave to be to be a little bit dirty because dirt cultures within you a certain a certain viscosity and resistance adaptability you did not form humans did not form in a bubble without any of the other germs um, great people who did great things in their life did not form without adversity and just because they're in the perfect situation in fact the perfect situation more often than not fucks people up check out the uh, what are they called? Trust fund babies? Check those guys out. See how they act. You know, the ones that never had to work for anything. They never do work for anything. They just get everything they want whenever they want. How do they act? How do they live? Is it a good life? Or is it a life of everything they want, but not necessarily good? Or a life of, like, all the pleasures that the outside world can give them, but there's no internal fortitude, no values, no, no viscosity, no thinking for themselves, or think about the people who, who get all their ideas from everyone else. How, how do they live, you know, without thinking for themselves? So, while I'm not saying go jump in a trash can, while I'm not saying go, go, um, you know, just eat a pile of shit. Or, you know, make everybody in your social circle hate you. Although that could be fun. <laughs> I've, I've definitely done that a few times. Um, the lack of adversity that... Or shying away from adversity, shying away from germs, shying away from people who are sick, makes you more susceptible in the long run. It makes you more weak because you have nothing to challenge yourself with. You don't have that, like, natural air of danger of, of uh, you know, oh, I better have my internal shit together, I better have my, like, health together because this is happening around me, you know? Um, our life definitely goes in waves, and, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not even advocating anything in this. I'm not advocating, like, make yourself cleaner or make yourself dirtier. I'm just saying, think about it. Think about it from this perspective, that all that shit around you, you know, it, it might make you better to suffer through it instead of avoiding it, to feel those emotions instead of, like, getting rid of them right away, to, you know, just 
maybe be okay with the dirt around you maybe not take a shower for a day you know or at least not use that as an excuse not to go out and party or to go enjoy yourself you know i i have the firm belief that healthy humans are really resilient and can take almost you know any kind of germ around them whereas unhealthy humans um are susceptible to germs around them and at the end of the day it's really how do you want to live you know do you want to live as a healthy human just allowing your body to deal with it as it comes and listening to it and understanding where you have to live and where you have to go in the sense that your body knows how to take care of itself or do you want to be a germ foe always worried trying to mentally control the world and make it just perfect for your self which doesn't really exist my, at least my, the way I look at it is I have a very, uh, I see myself as having a very intimate connection with everything around me, and I'm one with it, but it doesn't mean that, it, like, if something happens out there, I'm just going to automatically break down in here, whether it's emotionally or physically or, you know, spiritually. Like, there's a certain amount of resilience you can, you can cultivate within yourself, and, you know, maybe look into that. It might be something you could be, you could benefit from greatly, and therefore live a more relaxed and enjoyable life because you're not always worrying about shit. So that's my video for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'm off to work. Bye.